guy. Uh, I think this is a very interesting matchup. Two characters that you don't see very often. Yeah, Jirod also just came off of beating Tam, which was a really good win for him. It was, so. Is that what y'all were popping off that, that over there? Yeah. Because I heard, I heard in the middle of the last match a lot of pop-offs happening, and I, I figured it was that match. Yeah, uh, Jirod reversed three stocks Tam in game three. Whoa. <laughs> so Jirod having a little bit of a clutch factor then. Let's see if that comes into play here. He's playing very defensive against Mr. Guy right now, but a good combo going. And it's working really well. Oh, almost SD, but not quite. Yeah, yeah, Lucas has got that recovery to make it back all the time. Lucas is also a really interesting pick because most people will go with Ness, but he's deciding to go with the lesser used and considerably lower tier in most <laughs> people's opinions. Yeah, um, I think that g -Rod, typically speaking, he's stuck to this character since Smash 4. I've honestly never seen him play another character good. <laughs> um, and, and it's not to say that he's carried by this character because obviously you can't be carried by Lucas too much but <laughs> but he just knows this character in and out and he's stuck to this character faithfully so he knows a lot about this character yeah that would make sense a little bit more about but it, yeah like you said it's hard to be carried by a low tier character <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not, necessarily low tier, not necessarily low tier but not not anywhere near high tier right so right now G-Rod with the lead Mr. Guy uh, seeming like he's having a bit of issues with getting in on Lucas and making the most of each hit. He's kind of having to pick stray hits here and there. Yeah, Lucas can also stall his uh, falling speed with his down beat and similar things like that, and then just throw out hitboxes. Right, and a second ago, Mr. Guy recovered using pretty good usage of the egg. I think that egg would be very nice to see a lot more in this matchup. For the time being, it looks like Mr. Guy is fighting mostly a, a close quarters combat kind of style of fighting. Yeah, it'll also be really hard to edge guard G Rod because of what we saw before where he can do grapple and then instantly tether it in. Right. But that was a good edge guard right there by Mr. Guy. I feel like G Rod spent his resources on recovering very early and uh, was not able to get back. He put himself in a bad spot because Mr. Guy was covering it. Yeah, and then now we probably need G or G Rod probably needs to take this stock, but Mr. Guy getting a pretty nice upper string to get him to mid percentage. Yeah, looking like oh well that <laughs> that oh that confirm was nice. Down tilt and a grab, up throw on the platform, and now he's back in this. For sure, he will probably need to get at least like one good combo off just to get him back to the equal percent. But for now, he's gonna have to play from behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Throwing out the nares on shield is G-Rod. Mr. Guy now does not have to approach too much, but uh, knowing Yoshi, I think he's going to like to anyways. And uh, G-Rod's not punishing a lot of these things on shield, so Mr. Guy's getting away with a lot. Yeah, I don't know necessarily what out of shield options Ness would have, but if he does have any, he probably should be using them a little bit more overall. Lucas, I, th or, I think. Sorry, Lucas. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Yeah, so well, I think, I think the main thing is uh, nair out of shield. Oh, okay. Nair out of shield would be uh, the, the main one. Also, just with punishing, I feel like G-Rod is missing a lot. And that, uh, what was that, forward air into up air, bounce off the stage. So now, Mr. Guy with a commanding lead, about half a stock or more. Yeah, I feel like this matchup is probably a little bit favored towards Yoshi. Just, just due to the nature of both characters and how good the character is in general. But I don't know if that's... I think, I think generally speaking... It, it would be a little difficult for Lucas to continue some of those long strings because of Yoshi's uh, double jump armor, mm -hmm. right? But at the same time, neither one of these characters can combo each other very hard, so I don't know if that makes it bad for one or the other. Um, I think this might be slight favor Yoshi from what we're seeing here. Again, a matchup that you don't see very often, so uh, neither one of us, I don't think, really knows <laughs> exactly what's going on. <laughs> So that up smash going to catch G-Rod on the landing. Mr. Guy now making very good usage of the egg. Almost breaks the shield, but G-Rod going to turn the tables. And this is his opportunity. If he wants to take the lead, he's got to do it there. Oh. The fair almost doing it. Not quite. Really using that PK freeze to try and catch uh, Mr. Guy off the edge. And if it hits, it's going to kill at this point. Oh, egg almost finishing off that stock in the game. Mr. Guy, knowing just exactly how far can he go off stage before he dies. G-Rod, a bit of an overextension there by Mr. Guy, but it won't matter. Comes in off the Angel platform with a fair, and that'll be game one. Convincing. Uh, I wouldn't say that G-Rod got bodied, but maybe a little handled after the first stock. So now, for stages... It'll be interesting to see what's banned or picked because uh, just what these characters do. What do they? What do they like? I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Yoshi likes tripods, so I would I'm imagine assuming, so. I'm assuming he wouldn't ban those, but past that, I think Yoshi I can cover those platforms from below. Pretty mm -hmm. solid. Yeah, 
uh, and, and G-Rod probably favoring the flat stages. So that would be, generally speaking, I think the counter pick that we're going to see here. And it looks like G-Rod thinking about maybe Town or Kalos. Yeah. Interesting to see what potentially was banned because of the three ban system. But I guess choosing not to ban one of the one of those two or yeah. both of those two. Very interesting choices from Mr. Guy. Yeah, the bands are, are most likely going to be the flat stages if Mr. Guy is thinking that way. Another thing that he might be is, what stages do I just not like? That's true. And in that case, uh, maybe he doesn't want to go to Yoshi's Brawl, Lilat, some very common picks. G-Rod going to counter pick to a triplat. Interesting. So, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm wondering what his thought process on that is. Again, he would he might know better than I would. It might just be a comfort pick for him. Yeah, for sure. I, w I would think that Lucas might do pretty well on triplats, so there's a good chance that he thinks this is a good stage for both of us, but I know better. Sure. So. And that's just confidence right there. So let's see if that confidence pays off. Uh, G-Rod going in immediately with the combo again, but the combo game in this matchup probably going to be very weak from both characters. For sure, especially with just the Yoshi double jump armor being able to get through those multi-hits. And, and their floatiness as well. <laughs> their floatiness and their good air drift I think is, is the main thing. Some Nair's coming in. 16 to 7%. Very low damage game so far. This is definitely one that is it's a patient matchup. You have to be... Uh, you can't try to rush in too much, and you can't get impatient when you don't get big damage off of each hit. For sure. it's. I feel like if they both do play more defensive, I feel like overall G-Rod's going to win. But Mr. Guy taking G-Rod down really low, but uh -oh. G-Rod yeah. going for the SD kill. But he, he, well, he tried to do the recovery with the, with the tech. I think he could have probably gone straight to ledge, but he missed his angle and uh, was too close to the stage to get any other up B. Yeah, Definitely well, unfortunate, but... I mean, do you take that stock trade if you're G-Rod? I think after getting sent off stage and in that bad of a position with a percent deficit, I believe, I feel like that's in that situation, that was a really good stock trade for him to sure. be able to catch that, to catch the double jump off of the Yoshi. And he has seemed a little bit more in control this game compared to last game. Uh, so in terms of just the neutral play, he's doing a little bit better. Um, he's not getting caught with as much damage as before. So... I think that stock trade was poss was probably good. Yeah, I think it gave him a little bit more momentum because Mr. Guy is now a little bit unsteady, sort of, after getting killed at a lower percent and getting gimped by it. That's right. G-Rod playing the defensive game, playing the patient. The double jump cancel Zare is such a hard tech for Lucas, but G-Rod's practiced it. Uh, being one of the UTA people, I, I know his play style very well, and he has definitely worked on that double jump cancel a lot. Just to make sure that he can get it consistently and combo off of it yeah. a lot better and such. And that's probably giving him confidence that he's being able to land that. Oh, and he lands the PK freeze. Unfortunate stock. That is such a powerful kill option, especially at higher percents where the mashing is not going to get you out as fast. Yeah, he really showed why he's going for it, because even if it's not necessarily hitting all the time, when it does hit, it's a guaranteed kill confirmed. And if, th if there's enough distance, it's safe on whiff, too. So why not? Yeah, just get that potentially free edge guard free earlier kill percent than you would get g-rod in the egg tough spot but the up tilt by yoshi whiffing and now g-rod oh but gets caught by down b not quite not a stock good. very competitive game mr guy trying to close this out he looks like he's fishing for that down b the egg almost doing it g-rod gonna drift back go low smart recovery yoshi does not want to go that low if he doesn't have to <laughs> I think we just got a, a cool <laughs> off-stream match in the crowd because uh, someone's popping off out there. G-Rod holding on to the stock, 164. Mr. Guy has got to find a way to close this out. Yeah, Mr. Guy is probably really thinking that he needs to take this stock because every second that he doesn't take it is another second that G-Rod can try and get more percent, but Mr. Guy does close out that stock. Yeah, the oh. down B. Yeah, really, it allows him to sort of try and get back into this game. And that's a mental thing, too. The more you let your opponent last, the more it's like, what am I going to do the next stock when I'm in this spot? Am I going to be able to kill him? So you start to doubt yourself. Mr. Guy needed to do it right then and there. He wanted to keep his mental game in this, not just his stock game. Mr. Guy, though, really bringing it back, taking the lead back from G-Rod, mm -hmm. trying to just finish out this set in this game, not letting it get to a game three. Going pretty far off. G-Rod going to miss the down smash. Almost oh. ends the stock because of it. Mr. Guy going off stage quite a bit. G-Rod's got to make a play here to stay in. He's now down. Both people at around kill percent. For sure, one good hit from either person will really kill. Almost hitting that freeze, but not quite getting it. G-Rod trying to fight 
from behind. Goes for the F smash. Goes for PK freeze. Some weird options coming out now. And They're Yoshi interrupts with a jab. Both are really fishing for this kill, trying to just end the game and move it on. Almost getting that kill with the new trio from Mr. Guy. Forcing G-Rod into a recovery situation. Oh, and gets the two frame. G-Rod techs, but oh, he misses it. Missing the tech. Mr. Guy does really well to bring that game back. Yeah. Taking yeah. it and closing out that set. Yeah, he took that second stock at the perfect time, in my opinion. Because when he took that, the game shifted momentum. He was able to get his mind back in it and take all the damage back. And uh, G-Rod making the two critical errors in that, not 